Don't forget the ads feed the ducks and the ducks we're raising this year we're donating to local food banks. If you want to help out the duck adventure, the link below, 50 ducks on a hot tub, you can buy one of these t-shirts, you can donate monthly, you can make one-time donation. And the most important thing you can do is like the video and don't forget to share it guys. Good morning everybody and welcome to the duck adventure for August the 15th. Yeah, yeah, it's the 15th here. I'm getting my days screwed up. Every day's Wednesday here. All right, we're gonna let the ducks out. Before I let the ducks out, I wanted to uh, answer some of your comment questions here. Um, and one of them has been actually a little bit, you know, uh, uh, at the back of my head here because I'm, I was starting to doubt myself on uh, when the last time I saw Goose Lee Jr. Now, I've just scanned the whole pen. I've walked around everywhere and I don't see Goose Lee Jr. I think we've lost a uh, Goose Lee Jr. I see Goose Lee Sr., but I don't see uh, Jr. anywhere. I, you know, I, unless you, I go through the video, you know, in slow mo and watch them, you know, coming out of the uh, the pan. I think that's the only way we're going to know for sure because I don't see, like, the head is not. There's no, uh, you know, long thin head sticking up. That sucks, you know. Uh, but then, you know, we, you know, that's the thing about free ranging. You know, you don't know what Mother Nature's taken. All right, let's let the ducks out. And guys, don't forget. Go to the video link below. I'm gonna put it right below here. Click on it. You know the Mercer report. We gotta just keep hitting them with messages and and you know get their attention so they come up here and you know share the duck adventure with you know all of Canada.
You guys have no idea how tricky that was walking through the swamp. Uh, I, I, I'm probably going to edit out a couple spots where I slipped and I actually went in over my boot here in the water in a hole. Of course, the ducks took off uh, out of sight here already. Oh, we got Muscovies behind us. I'm surprised they didn't go back to the house. And one lone Peking duck. Now I don't, I didn't uh, catch it on video, guys. But the duck that last night um, went back down to the lake. The the female, I just I saw her come out of the bulrushes. So she's uh, definitely stayed overnight. She didn't come home because I was when I was walking through the bulrushes with the camera. I, uh, I saw it in my peripheral vision. I saw her coming out of the bulrushes where she slept. So she's uh, she's an overnighter. Just look at this. But most of them have scattered down the left-hand side of the lake. Oh, some more Muscovies. And actually, there's uh, five more behind me also. They're uh, they're still coming out. They're slow though. Oh, Muscovies. They're uh, they don't know what to do because I'm standing here at the uh, edge of the creek. Bad news on the Muscovy front. Last night, uh, it was dark. It was about, I don't know, about quarter after nine. I was coming out to do my customary, you know, walk around the yard, you know, make sure all the ducks are in the pen, lock the pen up, turn the pen on, and, or the electric fence on. And I, uh, by the uh, water that was outside the pen, a dead Muscovy. So that's, uh, I don't know, the fifth Muscovy we've lost this year. It's got to be botulism. Uh, they're getting into something in the swamp. I know with Muscovies that it, it, it is a, a number one cause of death uh, in this part of the world. They do uh, have, a, 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 I, I think probably they have a low uh, tolerance for, uh, for what they're eating. And because they're rooting around and drilling and everything, you know, they're finding dead matter and it's making them sick. And you know, that's because we've, this is the third year and every year, you know, we lose uh, ducks. Uh, specifically Muscovies to uh, botulism uh, and everything I've read on the internet uh, you know Muscovies are the number one duck to uh, you know, uh, fall to botulism so, where you know the peaking in the ruins doesn't happen or doesn't happen as often and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show here's the little female that's been sleeping in the straw pile I can tell by her quack because she has the same sound when she comes out of the straw pile. Let's listen to her. She's a little crazy duck sleeping in the straw pile. Every night. Oh, she's going down to the lake. She's on a little mission. Look at her go. I love the way ducks walk. Oh, I got a huge grin on my face, guys, watching this. Oh, I'm a silly guy. And of course, a whole bunch of Muscovies in the yard. There's about two, four, six, seven, seven females. No, actually, eight females and mo. No. And poor snapping turtle duck and handicapped duck, which I'm going to go take care of handicapped duck right now. Handicapped duck, how are you? How are you? Oh, you're getting quieter when I pick you up. Every time I put her in the water, same thing, you know. But she does. I, sometimes I see her come over to the water, and I don't know if she gets on the other side of the pan and gets lost and doesn't know where the water is. Oh, snapping turtle duck! I got a bad feeling. Oh, your foot. Let me look at your foot. Hang on. Oh no! It looks like some serious bruising. Oh, guys. I don't think uh, snapping turtle duck's gonna make it here. Them nasty snapping turtles. Its foot is seriously swollen. I don't know if it's showing up here in the video. She's probably got a broken foot. Well, let me just feel her foot here. Hang on, little duck. Oh, that's bad. It's a wonder you can't walk. 
And the problem is, is they've got that um, inf natural infection that the uh, snap turtles give them, so they die. Yeah. Oh, little guy. What a waste of a good duck. I think I know what I gotta do here, guys. Unfortunately. Seem to be losing an awful lot of ducks. Alright, have we got any eggs this morning? Oh, we got, oh, look at this. Two Muscovies in one nest. Did the girls give me any eggs? Oh, yes, there's two eggs there. All right, two eggs. Oh, Muscovies, thank you very much. I hope it's you that gave them to me because I'm thanking you. Okay, only two eggs. Well, two eggs is better than no eggs. Yeah, snapping turtle duck. I gotta, uh, I gotta take care of that later. Poor thing. I oh, will let it float in the water and enjoy itself. Yeah, I got bad. I gotta do some bad medicine today. Is there's uh, that way she's holding her foot up like that, guys? It's screwed. She's uh, a lame duck. Unfortunately, oh, it's a bad. Well, I'm not going to video it, guys, but you know what's going to happen. Well, Dougie, you get to go see your friend today. How's Robert? Good. That's good. Yeah, I was pushing on the door. And you swore. It's a family show. Well, you don't have the camera. No, I got this one running. <laughs> Well, Dougie had to ride in the back. He uh, decided that the uh, manure pile would be a great place to roll in. And whoa, does he stink. Actually, I had him in the back of the truck here and uh, the whole truck stinks. Oh, Doug. Oh, you're so dirty. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, gross. No, no. Okay, I got to give you a shower, Doug. Oh, look at you. Why do you have to roll in it? It was just disgusting, guys. When he first, it's dry now, but uh, when he first rolled in it, it was just gobs coming off of him. Oh, I know, Doug, you're so cute, but you stink like cow manure. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick shower here. Some moving magic for you guys. That was the fastest yet. Well, guys, I, I think we got bad news here. Uh, no sign of Goosley Jr. I, I have, uh, I have like scanned the flock this morning in the pan and I'm 99.9% I'm, I'm uh, sure that we lost Goosley Jr. Which really actually depresses me because you know, like it's like we only have two, we only had two Chinese geese and uh, Phil, I was, uh, I'm just sad that we lost them. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually really screwed up over it actually uh, because I, I haven't seen them. I, I like I have looked and I've been watching today and uh, and then no sign of none. But we had a wicked rainstorm today again, another nasty one. It came down uh, pretty, it was about, a, it came down about 45 minutes solid and it was just pounding rain, like pounding. I was supposed to be working in the garden, uh, harvesting, 
and it was uh, coming down so hard that uh, after afterwards, I should say, it came down so hard afterwards that I went into the garden uh, to uh, to pick some beans because I was supposed to be picking beans, and I sunk right to my ankles. Uh, the mud was so thick, so it was like no garden work happened because I couldn't work in the garden. And it's uh, so hopefully tomorrow's dried up enough I can walk in there because uh, I went in and I I had my Crocs on. I walked in the garden. And it was like right to my ankles in mud. It was like it was like a actually reminded me of uh, duck feces. It was like a soupy. Uh, it was messy. So I couldn't work in the garden today. So I'm like way behind on harvesting. But I know for sure, guys, I, I'm 99% sure I'm going to take a couple days off. Like no duck videoing at all. It's going to be strictly uh, garden. I got to focus on my garden. I've got to get my food uh, out of the dirt and uh, into my freezer. And Or I'm going to be not eating this winter. And I've got this, you know, the, everything I do on the show is about growing and raising your own food. And I'm the real deal because if I don't get this harvested this winter, I'm going to actually have to go and buy GMO garbage at the grocery store. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.
I'm gonna leave the camera running for you guys.
And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.